Does your perfume sound like this? Or does it sound like this? Well, today I'm going to show you how to make music with your perfume. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, this is Rebecca Tatila with the Roma Hut Institute. Today, I want to talk about how to blend by note when you're making perfumes. Imagine your aromatic blend is a musical composition and you are writing a marvelous masterpiece. This is how a famous perfumer, Satimus Piesse, described it. Fragrant oils and their odors have best been compared to sounds or musical notes. Just like a musical scale going from the first or the lowest note to the last and the highest note, scents range from a heavy smell all the way up to a sharp scent. Perfume is seldom made with one fragrance. They are usually a blend of three or more fragrances consisting of base notes, middle notes, and top notes. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna talk about how to make a composition that is a balance of all of the essentials. Now, a lot of people who do work in the industry and talk about essentials say, oh, that's nonsense. You don't need to worry about top notes, middle notes, and base notes. When you are making perfumes, and especially when you're working with essential oils, you definitely want to have a blend that harmonizes and is a nice composition of all of those. Now the base note is the heaviest oil. It is a heavy molecule. Now this one is the one that's gonna be the least amount of. You will have more uh, of the top than the base. And this is the first one. This is the, the one that really grounds that blend. And this is gonna last throughout the day. The middle note is the heart blend. Now this is the one that's going to bring heart and meaning to your your blend. In fact, it's it's more of the emotional connection that a person's going to make to that uh, particular fragrance or oil that they use. And then the top note is the one that we get the first time we smell a perfume. When we open that bottle up, you know, we open it up and we smell it. And it's usually those top notes that we smell the first. Those are the light, fragrant, citrusy smells like lemon essential oil or grapefruit or orange. And that one dissipates within the first 15 seconds of smelling that blend. And then you begin to smell the heart of the blend. That's the middle note. Now these might be more of the herbs and the flowers that you, we would find in essential oils. The base note, and that's the heaviest note, is gonna be the one that will be the backbone of your blend. And this is where we find the sandalwood fragrance of a uh, frankincense and myrrh and benzoid. These are all very heavy notes. The molecules are heavier. They're going to last the longest on the skin, usually about up to 72 hours you can smell those. We want to make sure that we have a nice combination of all of these oils in our perfume when we build a composition. When we finally find that perfect blend and combination, it, it's like a bouquet because when you smell that fragrance, you're not able to just identify one particular note, but it's a whole lot of different fragrances that you're smelling and truly a perfume will have up to 15 to 20 essential oils in it. When we start out, we wanna blend with simple blends like a, a, let's say three different essential oils. And so that's what we're gonna show you in some of our exercises that we'll do a little later. I'm gonna show you how to build a basic accord. Your perfume is going to contain the three notes that we talked about, the base note, the middle note, and the top note. Some, of course, refer to that fourth note as a bridge or fixative, because what that does is enhance the other fragrances and helps to bring them all together. Now the base note, and if you're looking at this chart here, you'll see that the base shows there's a amber and a woody. Um, and by the way, on this chart, I omitted the synthetic fragrant 
uh, molecules in this chart. So I'm only referring to the natural uh, essential oils that come from plants. And the middle note is going to be spicy, fruity, green, and floral. So that's where you find a lot of your herbs and flowers and the spices and things like that. Then the top note is your aromatic and citrus. Okay, and so those are the really bright ones. Now top notes, which is also called the head notes, are the oils that have a very light, very fresh fragrance. This is the first scent that you smell when you open up that perfume bottle after putting it up to your nostrils or rubbing it on your skin. That's the first thing you smell in those first few minutes. And it quickly evaporates into the air. But this is what gives us that impression of certain blends. Um, when you go into a department store and someone approaches you to put a perfume on or give you a sample, it is that top note that you're really smelling right off the bat. And there's certain fragrances that might be a turnoff to you because maybe you don't like the citrus scents or maybe um, there's just too much of grapefruit in it or something that just, is, you know, is not appealing to you. Some of the common notes in the top notes would be eucalyptus, lemon, bergamot, orange, lime. So you see it's all the citrus oils. In fact, um, bergamot is very popular and is used in the perfumery industry. Um, of course, we know Earl Grey tea has bergamot in it and it's one of my favorites, I love it. And Neroli um, is very nice, it's very intoxicating, it's very rich. And lavender, so some of those are the main ingredients that would be in your classical Edu uh, Cologne perfume. There's a lot of top notes to choose from. Now these are primarily made of aldehydes and esters and so this is the ones like i said from the flowers the fruits and the leaves your middle note is your heart of the blend this is where the emotion and the really the inspiration for your aromatic blend and for your perfume comes from so these might come from your floral family your geranium roman chamomile lavender and even the rolling sort of falls into this category too since it is a flower so this is the heart. Come here, darling. Come here. Sometimes people call it enhancer. Um, this is the one that it is the one that's going to really bring out that balance and that harmony in your blend. So these are the ones that you want to include. These are mostly made up of monoterpene alcohols. Um, you also will find um, again these are the leaves and herbs and many of the spices that we mentioned earlier. Roman chamomile is in this group, cypress, geranium, juniper berry, rosemary, and peppermint. Those are your solid middle notes and some even fade into the top notes. So these will last probably around 15 seconds to 30 seconds on your skin and then you're going to begin to smell the base note after that. The bottom note or the base note, this is the backbone and the foundation of your blend. And this is what we are going to remember most about your perfume. Now, I, I like the I, oriental spicy fragrances like Estilada Yuthu and Opium. Those are very heavy in base notes. These last about 30 seconds on the skin and they will actually penetrate the skin. So we know that when we're making a perfume with essential oils, not only are they a wonderful fragrance, we're benefiting from them because we're using something natural that's going into the skin and is being absorbed through the skin into the bloodstream. Our base notes and examples of those would be uh, vanilla, sandalwood, patchouli, and frankincense, and cinnamon. These are all very earthy and woody scents. And so typically these are what we want to use the least amount of in our perfume so that this will be a nice fragrance. Chemically speaking, when we look at all of these, we wanna have them all because it builds that whole composition. It's very balanced. We have our base notes, which is primarily sesquiterpenes and uh, the diaterpenes. And these are the ones in the root. These are the ground, the gums like ginger 
and uh, the resins like frankincense and myrrh. So those are the backbone of your perfume. So we wanna remember to always have those three. Now, again, people might say it makes no difference which ones you add first when you're building a composition. But I do believe that you're better off starting with the base note because that's the one that you have the least amount of. So you would begin with your base note, then you would build on top of that with your middle note, and then you add your top note to finish it. So that it's basically one drop of base note to two drops of middle note to three drops of a top note. So it's one, two, three. And that's the way you build. It's actually opposite of a pyramid. It would be turned the other way. You have more top note than you do middle and base note. There are perfumes that may be more of a, you know, a top middle note and not have that base. But I find that they don't last long. You'll find that they just sort of disappear and you don't smell them after a while. If you're going to make natural perfumes, you're going to need to possibly add a little bit more or you can just reapply them to your skin more frequently. And you know, when you use a roll-on bottle like this, it's easy to do that. You just carry it with you, roll it on, and the oil versus using alcohol, and we'll talk about that in another video, but this is gonna hold it to the skin longer. So I do believe that it does make a difference and is important to always blend with the base, middle, top note and finish it that way. It ensures that you've got a quality bouquet of fragrances. It's also gonna build an accord that's gonna be solid. And you know, sometimes when you're making a lot of perfumes, you want to do this precisely. You wanna make sure that your drops are accurate. So you might use scales. When you're doing a small batch of perfumes, you're not gonna to need to do that. You can just simply count out your drops. But a base note drop is much heavier than a top note. Top notes are you know, usually very thin oils. It's easy to get a lot more out when you're doing that. And so you're gonna find that that can make all the difference in the world when it comes to your perfume. I'm gonna leave you guys with that. Um, in our next video, we're gonna talk about the classification of the notes because you're probably wondering, well, how did I come up with that? How did I know that those are top notes and these are middle notes? How do you know the difference? We'll cover that in our next video. Thanks for watching and I hope you'll subscribe to our channel. And if you have, don't forget to click that button and that bell so that you'll get a notification on our next video.